Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th, okay? So right around the 16th. You know, there's darkness that needs to be worked on. It's the negative that needs to be healed. It's the negative that needs to be seen. It's the, it's, the, it's the darkness inside of us that needs to be pulled out. It needs to be accepted. It needs to be acknowledged. It's not the positive that we need to hear, unfortunately. Yes, we do need positive influence, but it's the it's the negative aspects of our lives that need to be seen and acknowledged and dealt with. My readings are meant to trigger that darkness. So that you can find a way to come out of it. to change your direction. So if my readings seem to be not what you want to hear, or they seem to focus on things that break your heart or trigger you, it's because you need to deal with it. If you've come here, you've come here to heal. A higher power has brought you to me, to my page, to my channel to heal. I am not going to fill you up with a bunch of false hope. We are going to focus on the darkness. We are going to focus on the negative so that you can be aware of it so that you can acknowledge it so that you can feel it so that you can heal from it it's kind of like going to a counselor when you go to a counselor for advice you are hoping to heal it's gonna hurt it's kind of like when you go to counseling or when you go through mental health therapy. They're going to push. They're going to poke. They're going to bring it out of you. Yes, there is going to be some positive reinforcements. But you have to feel. You have to feel it. You have to accept it. You have to acknowledge the pain. So perhaps during this time, there's going to be a lot of feelings that are going on. People are going to be feeling some sort of pain because the message has just come out. This is not going to be easy. It's not a positive time. That's the reality. To get to a positive time, we all have to come together. We have to help people with their pain. And by patting them on the back and just saying everything is going to be okay, that's, that's not it. Okay, that's not the answer. The answer is feeling that pain and finding the solutions. And being honest with oneself is the number one remedy. If you cannot be honest with yourself, you are never going to change your life. Living in La La Land and being patted on the back and enabled and only listening to the positive and focusing on the positive and never focusing on the darkness is going to keep you stuck in that dark place. 
So if you don't want to heal and you only want to hear the positive, you come back when you're ready. Come back when you're ready to heal. Come back when you're ready to make a change. Come back when you have reached rock bottom and all those false words <laughs> hasn't changed a thing. Nothing has changed. And it's been years, it's been weeks, it's been month. You're now sick, you're now ill, you now don't have any money left. You've wasted so much time on an illusion. You come back when you're ready. What do we have for a message today? <laughs> the High Priestess. High Priestess is somebody that is highly intuitive, right? This is a seeker. This is a seer. This is somebody that sees into the future. This is somebody that is highly intuitive, observes, reflects, knows things, is very gifted. I mean, the high priestess is a gifted soul. I feel like we have somebody here whose intuition is really speaking to them. And right now, they need to listen. I mean, this is, I mean, the high priestess, she gives advice. This is an advisor. It's interesting that I mentioned a counselor. This is, this is deep. It's deep. The high priestess is very deep, okay? She digs deep. This is about digging deep. We're gonna dig deep. This is not about fluff, rainbows, or unicorns. You need to listen. You need to listen. You need to listen to your gut more than anything. You need to listen to your own intuition. If your intuition is telling you something, do not ignore it. We all have a gift. Every single person in this world has a gift. Just the thing is, is people don't listen. They ignore it because of the social pressure, because of society. What's the norm? How should it be? Take a step back. Take a step back and listen. Take a step back and observe and reflect. What is it that you are ignoring? That's interesting. I said take a step back. It's time to heal. This is somebody who has a connection to the divine. Somebody that really listens. It's not about the outside pressure with the high priestess. It's about what I know. This is a time of healing. It's a time of introspection. If you need to take a time out to reflect, it is time to heal. What comes before the Four of Swords? The Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is painful. It's mourning. It's separation. It's hurt. It's heartache. It's pain. I don't need these cards. I say that I do, but I don't. I know what's going on. I know all the falseness. I know all the fakes. I can see a fake instantly.
This is about healing from pain. It is time to heal. It's time to heal. So be prepared. I, I don't need any really cards. Okay, I can tell you right now, you need to get prepared because you, I feel like there's going to be a tower moment. Somebody's going to be forced. It needs to come out. It can't be hidden. You can't bury the pain forever. There could be a separation. There could be a loss. This is feeling empty and lost inside after a loss. Oh, well, those fell off. I guess I got to take them. Temperance reversed, justice reversed, and the Four of Swords. Temperance reversed is upheaval, chaos. Something is off. This is, this is literally something is off. This is going to a going to extreme self healing is needed profound self healing is needed please look up the card there's off balance here everything needs to be done in moderation you need to deal with the negative as much as you need to deal with the positive okay there needs to be a balance here we got so many people live in fucking la la land it's sickening. I had somebody comment yesterday. Why don't you give positive readings? I'm a tarot reader too and I give positive readings. Okay. You're not helping nobody. People need to feel. They need to acknowledge their suffering. They need to acknowledge their pain to heal. And if you don't think I know anything about it. Okay, I buried a son and a boyfriend on the same day on Easter. They died the same day. Okay. My mother was paranoid schizophrenic since I was five years old. I grew up without a mother. I had no parenting, none. I raised myself. So if you think I don't know what trauma is, if you don't know, think I don't know what profound self-healing is, you are wrong. I had to feel that pain. I had to accept that pain. I had to go through all those stages of grief more than once in my life. I became my mother's caregiver. It was a gift. It really was a gift. All those experiences. I realize that now. Had somebody patted me on the back and fluffed it up and tried to stop me from acknowledging my pain, I would not be where I am today. Justice reversed. That's unfair. It's it's unfairness, right? This isn't fair. It's not fair. There's an injustice here. There's definitely an imbalance. Probably a mental imbalance. There could be an onset of illness here. We may have a mental illness. Somebody's going overboard. There's a lack of balance. There's a lack of moderation. There's going to extremes. We may have a sickness. We may have an illness. I mean, just saying. Somebody's going overboard. Four of Swords reverse is restlessness here. Somebody's, I feel like we have somebody here that has been, maybe they've been self-medicating or they've been struggling to accept the truth. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't want to accept the truth. I don't want to believe the truth. I don't want to acknowledge the truth. Now there's illness. It's the, the first spiel at the beginning, the more you hide it, the more you push it down, the more you don't deal with it, the more you don't release it, the more you don't accept it. This is lack of acceptance of the truth causing illness. Stress kills. Stress is the number one killer. And you want to know why? Because it fuels every other illness. So you can pretend and you can be fake and you can only focus on the positive and never deal with the negative and die young. Because the pain and the suffering and the hurt needs to be released. You need peace. 
You need harmony and you need balance. You need to bet you need to balance out those polarities. Yes? Either you do need to have positive in your life, but you cannot ignore the negative. Profound self-healing is needed. You need to focus on your long-term vision. You need to check yourself for what it is that you are not that you're lying to yourself about. This is restless energy. It is. It's restless. It's sick. It's sick and tired. And I mean, there is some sort of illness here. Hmm. We, may, we may have somebody here that knows that somebody is sick. Maybe they've been keeping it to themselves. Typically, the high priestess just sits back, observes, and watches. Right? Until it's time. Maybe the timing has been off, right? There's... Maybe the timing has been off. Maybe this is like so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. And I am sick of it. I'm sick of the illusion. I'm sick of the lies. I'm sick of the fakes. I'm sick of all the people that are suffering and not, 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 not acknowledging it. It's sickening. Especially when I have all this competition that are selling people the lies. And there's not one thing I can do about it but sit back and watch the stupidity unfolding right before my eyes. The clickbait people are clicking on. Oh my God. There is some sort of karma here though. It doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Justice reversed is, it's bad karma. It is bad karma. Somebody could be getting karma for going to extremes, for going overboard. For holding people back from healing. It's all these people focusing on the karmic, which isn't even real. The karmic this. The karmic is getting this. The karmic is being positive. She doesn't love the karmic. And it, what? And I'm the negative one. Lies. Every situation is part of our past karma. It's hard to accept. Profound self-healing is needed. Somebody needs to accept the truth. This is not accepting the truth. I know that somebody's not accepting the truth, right? And this is sickening. There could be illness here. Somebody may be facing some illness in the near future. There's an injustice here. There is. Five of Wands reversed. Five of Wands reversed is tension, conflict, typically the end. This is typically a battle that is ending. Game over, maybe? Game over? Stiff competition. We have somebody here that is exhausted. They're exhausted. This is totally exhausted. Somebody's maybe living some sort of lie. It's exhausting. It's draining. There's so much fighting. There's so much tension. There's so much conflict. This is extremely unhealthy. This competition is so unhealthy. Playing this game is so unhealthy. It is. Sick and tired of the game. Sick and tired of the lies. Sick and tired of not having a better life. I mean, it's because we have somebody here that's refusing to heal. You have to feel. You have to feel the pain. You have to acknowledge the pain that you have experienced. Five of Wands reversed. Game over. Game over. It's time to heal. It's time to stop engaging. It's time to stop playing, right? You got to stop playing. You got to stop playing the game, whatever the game is. It's like, it's time. It's time to heal. It's time to be honest with yourself. You have to make a decision that is going to bring balance to your life.
Ace of Wands, new vision, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is going somewhere fast, fast moving energy. Lusty, passionate, departure, sudden, sudden desire, sudden drive. Ten of Wands, somebody may be leaving home, leaving a job, leaving a business. This is very uncomfortable. It's extremely uncomfortable. This could, and this is extremes, going somewhere fast. This is a sudden departure of some sort. Somebody may have a sudden vision to go on a new adventure, do something spontaneous. Somebody's intuition, there's a new spark, there's a, there's a new vision. Somebody's getting a new vision. Ten of Pentacles reverses unstable business, family, or home life. This is losing it all. Somebody got, has gotten into a contract, you know, just for the money. Now it's very uncomfortable. Extremely. This is extremes. This is false impressions. A lot of false impressions. Now they can't afford it. This is loss, loss, loss of money, loss of home, loss of possessions. Losing it all, total ruin. Somebody could get ill and lose it all. There's illness here. There's definitely some sort of illness. And it's because we have somebody here that is in a situation that feels stable, but it's extremely uncomfortable. And it's, it's like I said, stress is the number one killer. And it is. It causes the heart attacks. It causes the strokes. It causes anxiety. It causes cancer. It's part of it. It fuels it. It's the fuel to the illness. And this is fuel. This is literally fuel. So it is. Somebody's fueling their illnesses. They're fueling an illness. Whether it's a mental illness or it's a real illness. Another kind of, and not that mental illness isn't real. And don't they say that I said that because I grew up with it, okay? I have compassion for those people. I saw it. I lived with it. I didn't have to read the textbook even though I've read several. I lived the life. Book smart and street smart on that one. Ace of Cups in reverse. Ace of Cups reverse is tears, sadness, emotional loss. It's sad. It's tears. It's tears. Tears over a huge loss. Yes, this is a huge loss. But there's a need to accept that you have to accept the truth. And, and there is, there, there, you have to. You have to be honest with yourself. You've got to go. It's time to go where there is growth. It's, got, it's time to go where there's light. You have to come out of the darkness. And yes, that's positive, isn't it? But you have to take action. It is act now, think later, just do it. Right there. Just do it. Act now, think later, just do it. Just do it. Just follow your gut. Your gut is trying to tell you to do something. You're not listening. Do it. I know, I hear you. Come on. Ace of Cups is sad. It is sad. There's some sort of sadness here. It's hard to accept that you have to take action. You have to listen. You can't ignore the truth forever. Oh my goodness gracious. Somebody's been battling with their mind. They've been really struggling. And they're exhausted and they're fed up. They're in a contract that is unbalanced, okay? It's one-sided. They're not, there's no balance in it, you know? There's, there's no truth in it either. I 
feel like we have somebody here that's going to be leaving something. They're going to be leaving something that isn't comfortable anymore. Turning their back on a situation that they got into. It was a false contract, by the way. It was to teach them a lesson because this is, this is all about a lesson. Somebody has, they've been repeating the negative patterns over and over and over and over and over again. Now, now things have, I want to say, reached a boiling point. I feel like we have a sad farewell. I do. I feel like we have a sad farewell. I, I do. <clears throat> Ooh, five of swords. Now the five of swords is... It's time to walk away. It's time to admit, admit, admit defeat. This is admitting defeat, walking away from a abusive situation uh, you know somebody needs to swallow their pride and walk away this is a lose-lose situation whoever they're dealing with doesn't care who they hurt and now it's time for you to do what's right for you you have to do what's right for you and if that means you got to walk away from something then you got to walk away you got to find your inner strength you need to find your courage you need to find your discipline you need to find your willpower don't stay for the money don't stay for the security face your fears don't let fear hold you back you need to walk away it's time to go It's time to go. I mean, that five of swords is, it's time to go. I feel like we have somebody here that is leaving a situation. They're going to be admitting defeat and walk, leaving. They're leaving. I feel like we have a sudden departure here. There could be a fight. There could be a hostile situation here. There's an argument with no resolution in sight. We have lies. We have an injustice. We have somebody here that is fighting. They're fighting change. They're, they're fighting evolution. They're resisting change. They're repeating negative patterns. Allowing themselves to be abused. I feel like this game is over because I feel like we have a departure here. Three of Swords Reverse, profound self-healing is needed, absolutely. This is time to focus on the future. Healing from the past hurts. That's what this is all about. You cannot engage. You have to remove yourself from the situation that is causing you illness, that is causing you stress, that is hurting you, that is abusing you. There's abuse here, whether this is drug abuse, alcohol abuse, abuse from another person, there's abuse. Some people self-medicate, right? I'm gonna live in La La Land, I'm gonna self-medicate, they go overboard, they never face their demons. The law could be getting involved at this time. We have somebody here that is really, doesn't care who they hurt, this person is a bully, they're abusive, they're doing something criminal, there could, even, there could be literally, literal, literal criminal behavior here. I feel like whoever is doing this is, is being watched. They're being watched. They may not know that they're being watched, but they are. They're being watched. Somebody's being watched. They're being observed from afar. I do feel like it's time to heal. And I feel like we have somebody here that is, well, we have passion here, right? This is taking a passionate approach, which I obviously have done today. It's time to Surrender and walk away from a situation that is not comfortable. You have to be honest with yourself. 
And I feel like I feel like there there's some sort of profound self-healing that is going to be needed after the departure. There is a departure here. I think that we have somebody here that is leaving a situation. They are. I feel like they're going to be. I think they're going to need to find their strength. And I think they're fed up. I think this is a, this is fed up. I am fed up. I'm fed up with this. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I do see fed up. I'm fed up with the abuse. Somebody's fed up with the abuse. Oh, the demons. This is the demons. This is facing the demons. This is this is a toxic bond, right? It is. This is unhealthy bond. This is this is a codependency. This is a bad habit. This is drugs, alcohol, person. It's lust, it's greed, it's materialism, it's instant gratification. It doesn't do anything to you but slowly kill you. It's a slow death. Starts out great, right? Then you die. Oh my God. The devil, re the devil is not reversed. The devil is toxic bond. It's time. It's time. I feel like it's time for somebody to gain control, to take back control. There is an addiction here. Somebody needs to sever ties. Five of Swords about severing ties. Somebody needs to sever ties with a codependent situation. It's not healthy. It's really not healthy. This is going to be coming up. This addiction, this codependency, there's going to be a conflict with this codependency. Whatever this codependency is, whether it's a drug or it's sex or it's, uh, it's something that is bad for you or it's a person. Severing ties with this codependency is in the near future. It's time to heal. And I feel like there's karma that is coming. Some, I feel like somebody's honestly it could be getting caught. Or justice is being served or, you know, something is happening. I feel like there's some sort of force. Devil is force, believe it or not. This is very unstable. It could be fighting on the home front, fighting, fighting at work as well. I wonder, some, for some reason, I, I feel like the law is getting involved for somebody. The Three of Swords reverse is healing. There's a need to heal. There, again, really, this is all about profound self-healing is needed. We have somebody here that uh, is really off balance. They're self-medicating. They are ignoring the truth that this is abuse, whatever. And this could abuse is either from a person or a drug or an addiction. This is abuse. They're ignoring the abuse. There's going to be a departure. Get prepared for some opposition. Okay. This is opposition, right? That's opposition. It's being caught off guard. A need to defend. Somebody's going to be caught off guard. They're going to, they are. There could be somebody that is arriving. This person comes out of nowhere. You may be caught off guard by an individual as well that shows up out of nowhere. We have somebody here that is very egotistical. This is extremely egotistical. Does not care who they hurt. Be careful. Be careful. You need to defend yourself. You need to protect yourself. You need to stand up for yourself. Somebody needs to stand up for themselves. Somebody needs to fight for what they deserve. And right now, they ain't getting what they deserve because justice is reversed. That's not getting what, you, somebody's not getting what they deserve. They're allowing themselves to be abused. And the devil's laughing. The devil's going to tell you whatever you want to hear, right? Devil's winning right now, right? 
The devil will give you what you want. The devil sells his soul. You know, somebody has sold their soul to the devil. That's what that is. The devil is going to tell you the fluff. It's going to tell you everything you want to hear. It's going to delay your healing. You need to face your demons. You can't ignore the demons. You have to face the stress. You have to you have to remove yourself from the stressful situation. Anyhow, I do think we have a departure here. I have I feel like we have somebody here that is about to stand up for themselves. They're about to defend themselves. It may cause a departure. I feel like we have the end of an unhealthy situation. I hope. We could have somebody here that is going overboard with an addiction. Their ego is in complete control. There is somebody that's going to extremes. They are going overboard. Their ego is out of control. The devil's guiding them. The devil has complete control of them at this time. This person is about to lose a lot. A huge loss. Humongous. Anyhow, profound self-healing is needed. There is something that is off. We have an off balance here. Um, we have somebody here that is really in their ego. They've been feeding their ego. They've been going to extremes. There's a restless energy. I feel that like there's been some sort of stagnation. I feel like there's about to be some movement. I feel like it's sad. I feel like there's tears. There could be a loss here. There could be a sudden loss. Okay. Somebody's game could be over. Their game is over. I feel like there is game over. Game over. There is. Their game is over. Anyhow, that's what I got. Good luck.